Thank you, Mark. A Nashville builder claims a proposed zoning change allowing duplexes in all Davidson County neighborhoods and triplexes and quadplexes in most Nashville neighborhoods would bring more affordable housing to the city. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. Meanwhile, residents are pushing back. News 2's Tori Gessner with the story. It's a proposed zoning change that's been hotly debated. The Nashville-based developer, Jackson Builders, is coming to its defense. I think people have to understand that, like, the stuff that they like about their neighborhood isn't there without progress. The bill, proposed by two freshman Metro Council members, would change residential zoning to allow duplexes in all Davidson County neighborhoods and triplexes and quadplexes in the urban services district highlighted on this map. The goal is to create more affordable housing by increasing housing density, something Roberto Gutierrez with Jackson Builders says is needed. Where interest rates are currently coupled with the cost of land, um, as well as the cost of construction and city regulations. It's extremely hard to build a house and make any reasonable margin uh, selling it for less than 500,000. And a big, a big part of that is because we're so limited on density. Gutierrez says if this bill passes, it would increase density, allowing developers to sell multiple smaller conjoined homes on the same lot size as a single family home for much less. But residents argue increased density doesn't suit every neighborhood, concerned about the impact on infrastructure and the character of the community. They planned to voice their opinions at a community meeting last night, but it was canceled minutes before it was supposed to start because since it was exclusively virtual, it violated state law. Neighbors pushed back. I don't understand how this group of professionals did not know what the rules were for the two weeks since I registered for this meeting, and it's just a charade, and this meeting is a charade. While neighbors agree Nashville needs more affordable housing, they say this isn't the way to do it. Gutierrez hopes they can have an open mind. Neighbor to Neighbor, the group that organized that community meeting, says Metro Legal advised them of the state law the day before the meeting. They say they're working with the city to schedule a virtual and in-person meeting that is in compliance with that law. Bob.